It can be worrisome when our four-legged family members have trouble walking. Limping is a natural response by your dog's body to alleviate sudden pain, discomfort, or an abnormal joint conformation. In some cases, limping may not be caused to rush the emergency vet, but it's good to know the possible causes and ways to support your limping dog. I'm Dr. Julie, your go-to native pet vet, and this is my friend Chibi. Today, we're going to talk about what to do if you notice that your dog is limping. One of the most common causes of limping in dogs is an acute paw injury. So if your dog enjoys running or hiking with you outdoors, they may be exposed to things like plant material like foxtail or sharp edges or even an insect sting that can get in their paw and cause them to limp. Also, during the warm summer months, make sure you always test the pavement before you're taking your dog out on a walk. Take your hand and touch the pavement. If it's too hot, it's too hot for your dog's paws. Accidents can happen at any time, and in some cases, even trauma from rough play can cause limping. A couple more serious orthopedic issues include ligament tears and joint dysplasias. One of the most common torn ligaments in dogs is the CCL ligament, which is very similar to the ACL in humans. This ligament tear often happens to dogs who like to run a lot or who are jumping up and off of furniture. Hip, elbow, and shoulder dysplasia occurs when the joint doesn't form properly when your puppy is growing. This is mostly caused from genetic factors, but poor nutrition can also contribute. Osteoarthritis is a common degenerative joint condition that can also cause limping as your dog ages. A couple other joint diseases include patellar luxation, which is a condition of the knee, which is common in smaller breed dogs, and IVDD, which you also see in long back dogs like Chibi. Outside of joint conditions, things like skid allergies and infections can cause your dog to obsessively lick their paws and make a self-inflicted injury that then causes them to limp. Immune-mediated diseases like Lyme disease can lead to joint swelling, which can also cause your dog to limp. Make sure that you give your pet veterinary prescribed flea and tick prevention. You can prevent these immune-mediated type diseases like Lyme. A more serious condition like bone cancer can also cause progressive limping in your dog and be extremely painful. Because limping can be caused by a variety of factors, some more serious than others, when in doubt, never hesitate to take your dog in for veterinary care. Make sure to bring your limping dog in for emergency care if you notice any of the following signs. Lethargy, swelling anywhere on the leg, vocalizing when touched or moved, limbs that are warm to touch, active bleeding, bones that are protruding through the skin, a dislocated joint, and it's important to note that most dogs will not put any weight on a dislocated joint, a dangling limb, or an obvious broken bone or a limb that is an abnormal shape or conformation. It might be tempting to help your limping dog at home by applying a bandage or even a brace, but never apply any medical treatment to your dog unless you're directed to do so by your veterinarian. Also, never give any human pain relievers to your dog as most are very toxic, if not deadly to your pet. Once you bring your dog to your vet, they'll do a nose to tail examination and they may recommend several tests like blood work or x-rays to get to the bottom of your dog's limping. Treatment will depend on the underlying cause and the severity of your dog's limp, but it could include strict crate rest for more than three weeks, anti-inflammatory medication, pain medication, surgical correction of a fracture, antibiotics, a biopsy of a mass, a cast or brace on the affected limb, or physical therapy. In addition to your veterinary prescribed treatments for your dog's limping, you can also ask them about some non-prescription ways to support your dog. For example, warm or cold therapy can help ease your dog's pain and help them when they're recovering from surgery. You could also talk to a certified rehabilitation veterinarian or look into acupuncture for alternative therapies. At home, you can try supplementing your dog's diet with fish oil, which can help reduce inflammation in their joints. But make sure you talk to your veterinarian before adding any changes to your dog's diet, because in some cases, fish oil may be contraindicated with certain prescription medications. Green-lipped mussels and turmeric are also ingredients that can help protect the joints. You can add both these ingredients by giving your dog some of Native Pet's relief chews. There's also a couple lifestyle changes you can make to support your limping dog. Make sure that you keep your dog a healthy weight and always ensure that their daily treat allotment does not exceed more than 10% of their daily calories. 
provide your aging dog with an orthopedic bed to make sure they are comfortable with resting. Place a ramp or stairs near your bed to prevent them from jumping on or off the bed. Provide carpeting in areas of your home where your dog likes to walk or rest. Slick floors like tile or concrete can be difficult for pets with arthritis or sore joints. Place protective booties or a paw salve like Musher's Secret on your dog before any walks to prevent any paw injuries. Bring your dog for regular veterinary visits to ensure their joints and internal organs remain healthy. And keep your dog's nails trimmed to prevent broken toenails and allow them to grip the ground better. As pet owners, we all want our dogs to live happy and as pain-free as possible. So if you notice any changes in their gait or if your dog suddenly starts limping, it's a good idea to have them checked out as soon as possible. Chibi and I hope that these tips were helpful for those of you with limping dogs. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more pet health tips.